Well, you know, I'm just so proud of my guys. Uh, like I told them, we've been working towards this ever since June. Uh, and I told them our goal not only was to make the conference tournament, but to definitely win that first round. Uh, and then from there, just be ready to round two and hopefully round three. But I'm, they, they've worked so hard for this moment. And we had a good regular season. Uh, but I told them, you know, this is a new season now. And they came out and they, they were prepared. Questions for Coach? Coach, pretty good shooting team that you guys stifled. Just uh, what defensively worked for you tonight? Well, you know, we're one of the top-ranked teams uh, defensively in the conference. And uh, if I remember correctly, our defensive field goal percentage, I, I think we're 19th in the nation. Uh, and we take pride in that. Last year, we were one of the top defensive teams in the nation. Uh, and I wanted to put our best defender on uh, Randolph, uh, Dalen Smith. He did a pretty good job on him. Uh, you know, Randolph, he, he, he's a tough matchup. Uh, conference player of the year. Uh, he does a great job of using his body to get open, and he, he uses his body to get all kind of different angles to, to create shots. Uh, so he was definitely one of our main focus. But team defense is what won it. Can you talk about Smith? He kind of struggled to find his shot in the first half, but in the second half, he hit some big ones for you. Well, Dalen confidence has been coming each game. Uh, He's worked on it. You know, all we did today, uh, we just got up a lot of shots, uh, got up a lot of free throws, and that paid off today. Uh, and we got up a lot of shots. Uh, Dalen has been playing with great confidence, I would say, the last 10 games. Because uh, we asked him to do a lot. He has to handle the ball. He has to usually guard the, the best player, uh, best perimeter player uh, on the opponent's team. Uh, and he takes that challenge personally. Uh, in the first half, he did struggle. I, th I think, well, our whole team struggled a little bit at the beginning of the game. And I think it was just nerves, you know, first tournament game. Uh, you know, the expectations were huge because uh, we had a good, we, we finished fifth in the season and they wanted to do well here in the tournament. Coach, you know, you mentioned the first half, maybe a little bit of nerves. Maybe you gets out to that nine point lead, but you're able to walk them down. Just, but what does that say about the resiliency of your squad that they were able to kind of find themselves in that moment? That means we're maturing and we're growing. Uh, you know, I've had these guys ever since they were freshmen. I, I recruited high school players, uh, prep school players, you know, everyone across the nation, uh, you know, they're doing the transfers, uh, hitting that transfer portal hard. But we have been able to groom this group ever since they were freshmen. Uh, and so the confidence is there. You know, we went through some tough times last year and, and we, we could see the progress uh, each and every game that we're playing. Uh, and now the confidence is there. And, you know, we've got a tough one tomorrow, uh, playing the number one team in the, in the conference tomorrow. But uh, we're ready to go out there and compete. Well, what do you think about that matchup with Alcorn? They survived the scare in the first <laughs> round. They almost got booted out of here by an eight seed. But I would imagine um, they'll be fully attentive tomorrow. They will. Coach Bussey does a great job with them. They play so hard. Uh, on both ends. Uh, they're a team that can hit shots. They, they run a three guard offense, which makes them very tough to guard because all three of those guards can create their own shots. Uh, they've got very solid big men uh, that crash the offensive board. Uh, so it's gonna be a tough matchup. Uh, we played them tough at our place. I, th I think the score was 79 to 71. So I look forward to be another tough game. Could you talk about the environment here? You're, you're kind of close to home. Uh, you had a lot of fans, and afterwards, uh, people were pretty excited uh, at the end of the game, it, just having that uh, kind of six man there in the crowd. Well, Bulldog Nation, uh, they traveled. They, they were excited, uh, not only for us making the tournament, but we knew we would have a, a decent crowd here tonight. Uh, you know, it's one of the things, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of uh, the alumni that follow us, and, and we have a good following wherever we travel across the nation. Uh, Bulldog Nation, they, they, they come out and support us. Uh, so I was real happy to see the support that they came on out. And, and I think it, we'll probably have a lot more people come down tomorrow. Any final questions for Coach? Thank you so All much. All right. Coach. Thank you. you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Team uh, shot well. That's an understatement.
And we, we shot with 33, 34%. They were not much better. Um, we had a couple of couple of goals uh, defensively. One was, uh, you know, defend better in transition because in the game that they they beat us at our place, we were we did a poor job in, in transition defense. We were much better tonight. The second area was defend without fouling, and so we we went back over the last six, seven, eight games, and you could tell those games where they didn't get to the line more than 16, 17 times, they, they lost those games. Um, our game at their place, we beat them by five. We got 25 attempts. I think they got 16, 17. The game against Southern, the game against Grambling at, at our place. At our place, they shot 39 free throws to our 12. So defending without fouling was, was a thing that we really focused on, and yet they had 27 free throw attempts tonight to our nine. And so when you look at the, all of the stats, that was the difference right there. We, I think we had, what, uh, uh, four, four more field goals than they did. And it's just, uh, they had, uh, just a balance, the ability to throw the ball inside, I think, um, was one of the big differences. We'll open it for questions. Coach, how, how difficult is it to approach defense when you look up with, what, about six, seven, eight minutes left on the clock and they're already in the double bonus? Well, you know, it, it, it's tough, but again, you know, it's hard. Having said that about defending defend without fouling, and at the end of the day, I mean, when you hold a team to 61 points, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's saying something about you doing something right, you know, defensively. So in spite of uh, you know, putting them at, you know, they got 27 free throw attempts, it was a lot. We didn't shoot the ball well. You can't realistically expect to advance in tournament play, you know, he's shooting 34, 35% from the field. So at the end of the day, uh, we, we, we didn't shoot the ball well. And, and uh, you look at the numbers, and so again, you, you hold a team to 61 points, you know, most of the blame's got to go to you to you offensively. Coach, you completed your first season in the SWAC. Can you just talk about what that experience was like getting all the way here, this experience, and having the SWAC player of the year on your team? Well, yeah, MJ is an outstanding player. Of course, tonight, you know, wasn't wasn't one of his better games, and so he wasn't even picked preseason first team All Conference. So, you know, we we knew that he would fare, you know, better than that, and, and he and he did. The conference was uh, it's an outstanding conference. It was it was uh, I I anticipated, you know, the top four or five teams being really good, but the league was really deep, and. Um, I mean, on any night, I mean, gosh, just look at the way Alabama State finished the season, you know, beating both Grambling and Southern. Uh, I mean, Bethune-Cookman, who didn't make it, uh, had uh, road wins uh, at, at Alcorn, at, at Southern. So, you, you, realistic, you're talking nine or ten teams on any given night could, could, could beat you. So, the league was really deep, really good. And um, you know that's what that's what makes uh, conference play so special is when you you have that many uh, teams that that type of quality depth. Coach, I know MJ's got a decision to make about next year, but you have three other seniors who just played their last game. Just how tough was that locker room? Well, it was really tough, you know, because you 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 expect you know so much more from seniors, and of course, and I said to him, as disappointing as we are now. Uh, this disappointment's not going to overshadow all that they've given, you know, the fun memories. And so where we are now and in the direction we're headed, it's all because of them, you know, that they've laid the ground, the groundwork, the foundation, both on and off the floor, uh, academically, socially, community service, you name it. So uh, we're, in, we're in a much, much better place because of, of what those guys uh, have given us. Final questions for Coach? Thank you so much. Coach. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you.